today we are going to take up is the heme synthesis now heme synthesis is important because if you know the steps of heme synthesis it is very easy for you to understand the porphyrias which are occurring at every step because of lack of an enzyme so usually what happens is in heme synthesis heme synthesis usually occurs at both the places that is in mitochondria as well as in the cytoplasm so the initial steps will occur in mitochondria then it will go to cytoplasm from cytoplasm it will again come back to mitochondria for the final steps what do you require for heme synthesis succinyl coa and glycine now succinyl coa and glycine in the presence of b6 will form the enzyme which is required for this reaction or this formation is very similar to the name of the substrate the substrate which is formed is delta amino lebulonic acid and the enzyme which is required here is delta amino lebulonic acid synthase deficiency of this enzyme is seen in x linked sideroblastic anemia sideroblastic anemia can be genetic it can be acquired so if it is x linked sideroblastic anemia there this enzyme is deficient due to which heme synthesis is not forming causing sideroblastic anemia now this reaction can be stopped by glucose or if there is heme excessive heme present now this delta amino lebulonic acid from the mitochondria will now enter into the cytoplasm and will convert into porphobilinogen now to remember the name of the enzymes which will be used in the further steps try and remember h a c and everybody will have a d in front of it that is hydratase and carboxylase hydratase aminase and carboxylase so the enzyme used here is delta amino lebulonic acid similar to this but dehydratase so that will convert delta amino lebulonic acid into porphobilinogen if somebody has lead poisoning this enzyme will be damaged so heme synthesis will not occur this porphobilinogen further converts into hydroxy methyl bilane you can remember that by two lanes hydroxy methyl bilane and the enzyme which is required for this step is called porpho bilinogen d aminase if there is deficiency of this enzyme that will cause acute intermittent porphyria now this hydroxy methyl bilane will convert into uro porphyrinogen Uroporphyrinogen 3, and this uroporphyrinogen will convert into 
कॉप्रो फोर फोर रिनोजन थ्री एंजाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड हेयर एंड द नेम ऑफ द एंजाइम इज यूरो पोरफो रिनोजन डी कार ऑक्सीडेज यूरो पोरफो रिनोजन डी कार ऑक्सीडेज इफ देर इज एनी डिफेक्ट ऑफ दिस एंजाइम पेशेंट विल डेवलप पोरफाइरिया कुटेनिया टाडा पोरफाइरिया कुटेनिया टाडा This coprophorinogen three will now enter the mitochondria to form protoporphyrin. This protoporphyrin is converted to what we require, that is heme, in the presence of. This is where the iron is required in the entire process of heme formation. That is the last step of heme formation in the mitochondria. In the presence of enzyme called as ferrochelatase. Lead poisoning harms this enzyme. So lead poisoning is harming two enzymes. One is your ferrochelates and the other one is delta ala dehydratase so these are all the steps to remember always remember it starts from the mitochondria ends in the mitochondria one step is taking place in the mitochondria last step is taking place in the mitochondria center all the steps are taking place in the cytoplasm cytoplasmic anemia lead poisoning acute intermittent porphyria cutanea tarda and again lead poisoning so this is about heat synthesis